Okay, welcome back to another episode of the Day After Podcast. What's up, everyone? Here we are doing the All-Stars 4 draft. That's right. Yeah, yeah we're going gonna to pick our teams to see who's coming back for All-Stars 4. And I got to say, I was telling Joe this earlier, we have a lot of females that really stick out this time around. So males was a bit tough for me personally. But, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, um, all this is um, our pool for winners at war. Um because this is, I know our last video was last chance, but this is the legit last chance. Yeah, yeah. It was the last chance for a chance to get on to All-Stars as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah. Um, all right. Who should make the first pick? And are we I, doing guy, all guys and all girls or all girls, all guys? I think we should alternate. And, and I feel like you should go first because I technically won All-Stars 3 with Braun Strowman winning. All right. I'll start with uh, guys. I'm going to choose myself. So, yeah. <laughs> You're going to choose yourself <laughs> right away. Well, well I... Be, no suspense I to it. it. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's like... It, I feel that was a give me, a gimme. And yeah. so I'm just going to be like, oh, well, obviously the... It's kind of like when you make a top 10 list of something and you clearly know what's number one Mm -hmm. and everything else is like filler. I'm like, well, you know, I'm just going to get out of the way. This is my number one pick. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yeah. Yeah, I will say I'm not choosing myself Uh, on this time just because I want to give other people a chance to win. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I think Uh, I only have one winner on my... I, I do have two. I have a guy and a girl winner. See if we have the same person. Uh, okay. All right, so it's your move. Okay, well, my first guy that I'm going to pick up for myself is Boston Rob. Nice, nice. He, he, did, he was in two of our brand seals already and did very well in both of them, uh, kind of dominating yep. the game for the most part. Uh, so, going to see if he can do the same thing in All Stars. Yeah, always a solid and like seeing how we've never really used them until now it's kind of like the whole it's kind of like a whole the whole kellen thing where it's like well we never really used them but now we're kind of making up for it you know exactly all right so for my first girl i have to i have to make sure i get her katherine newton katherine newton there it is she has became such a big star in the real world and in this France Steel survivor verse being the person that has been in every single all-star season. She's again, the every only person. Time. Yeah. Not even an actual survivor contestant. Just yeah. a celebrity crush. <laughs> so, uh, but God dang it. Do I know how to pick them? Because in the first ever one makes it to, uh, makes it to the finale when we do our first all-stars makes it all the way to um, the merge. And then only reason she got voted off was because she got rock drawn out completely random. And second um, in the, our second all-stars that was just horrible on my part because my team just got. Yeah. But she still, she makes it far. She still makes like sixth place. Yeah. She came back and then made it so far into that. And especially in a season where there's 22 contestants, means there's even more chances to get out early, all that stuff. Yeah. And then when we had our other All-Star 3, made it super, super far and could have won if she didn't lose the last immunity. So yeah. she just had to be. Yeah. Uh, you know, I I wouldn't probably be rooting for her more than anyone on your your. Uh, tribe so just just letting you know if i don't win it has to be her yeah (laughs) in my opinion yeah yeah no i'm 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 excited that you're bringing her back though oh yeah she's a mom okay now i'm bringing back someone who everyone loves and she's played the greatest game in real survivor and in a brand steel and that is danny boatwright (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> oh, 
She's a great player. She 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 crushed it. She crushed it. She did okay. She crushed it. She did okay. <laughs> I didn't even spell her name right. I spelled it right as in right or right, not <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> not even that right. See, uh, I respect your decision. Yeah, she, so she's, she's I find great. it weird that that's the first choice. First choice has to be. I think it's just sheerly to irritate me and get the reaction. Oh, 100%. She's actually not number one, but after uh, hearing your choice, I chose to choose her first. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so for my next choice that isn't me, for the guys, I'm going to go with Ken. Ken. Who, he was he was so close to winning last time mm-hmm. on uh, Last Chance. Mm-hmm. I feel he was definitely, like, him and Francesca, it was going to be one of the two, and it's just one of the things where he was a big target and he just had to go. Mm-hmm. Um, but, like, his social game was on point. Uh, his, you know strategies um and all that stuff so you know i feel like he had to come back yeah especially since he was on a long hiatus yeah i i, I was expecting that from you uh, i feel like he he's he played a great game uh really uh he, he, he was very close to winning if he could have just survived a couple more immunities <laughs> i know but alas yeah. I don't laugh. Yeah. Um, I should also uh, say that we agreed that for last chance, we'd only pick a guy and a girl each. So that way yeah. we didn't bring a bunch of people from last chance back. So yeah. it really is the last cream chance. of the crop nah. of last chance. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, okay. All right. Um, well, my number two pick and someone who Ryan also extremely loves and that is Billy Garcia. <laughs> yeah, he's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Awesome guy. Yeah, yeah. No, Too bad he's not going to uh, be able no to try with Captain there. Newton right away, but um, when they merge. No, the fact that he's, uh, the, the fact that uh, he's back in the same season with me and I don't have to sneak on, you know, it, it, I, we can have the, Catherine can have the in-person comparison, you know, you know, He's the delusional stuff like that. He's a good player, yeah, but I'm actually a good player. Mm-hmm. Sometimes a megalomaniac, but a good player. Yeah, but Billy can't really get by like the ninth place finish. Like he just kind of keeps going right there, and then he gets voted out. <laughs> we'll see. We'll mm-hmm. see. Uh, if we're but on he the makes same sure drive, it's, he makes it very entertaining but... up until he goes home. So I feel like he was a must. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So my next gal is going to be Laura Manette because she did such a great job. You mean in, Laura Moretz? Uh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Right. <laughs> R in the N. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, so she was a must. Did super super well in Battle of the Amazon, and yeah, just felt like she also just straight up deserves more love on our brand steel being mm-hmm. only on here like two times prior mm-hmm. so yeah 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 um i mean there's a lot of people that only have been on here once like danny boat right she gets to come back now she should have been on here at least seven times i'd say uh, <laughs> i know this is. I think you're just going to try and construct the most anti-Ryan team ever. <laughs> you, and it's not just going to be survival <laughs> contestants or people in the brand steals. You're just gonna. You just find a way to bring these people and just. Who does Ryan not like, and how do I put them on my team? <laughs> exactly. All right. So, who is the next girl? Uh, what is someone that you like? Uh, and that is Figgy. I'm bringing back yeah. Figgy. Yeah. yeah. She, uh, she recently gave me advice on my audition tape. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 That That's cool. Cause she was on a Facebook, uh, fan page that I'm on and, uh, she was like, Oh, Hey, ask me anything. And I was like, Oh, okay. What should I ask her? All right. Uh, the audition tape. Cause I still need to do one. Mm-hmm. And that stuff. So yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Um, and then Figgy gave us probably my favorite Brant Steel moment ever, where she swapped with Tay. Yeah. And I just lose it with my voice. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, her game in All Sparrows Love in the War is one of my favorites uh, oh, yeah. that we've had in the entire Brant Steel. It was crazy oh, like she, she was playing so crazy and then she gets the end and gets zero votes which was a little bit sacrilegious it yeah. was like come on come yeah. on yeah she definitely didn't play a zero vote game <laughs> no 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 all righty so for my next guy is going to be one of my favorite contestants also from all is fair and love and war it's going to be tyson, tyson. Yep. <laughs> you know, it, it, it was a while since I brought him and uh, he came back, came forth, and yeah, a pretty solid run for him. You know, him and uh, him and Rachel were pretty much a power couple throughout that. The last couple kind of standing, really. Um, so, yeah, it just felt like uh, he had to come on. Also, mm -hmm. like, you know, it's his last, sh his one last shot at Winners at War. And exactly. so you know yeah, yeah. we yeah, really want to bring on our favorites for this this opportunity <laughs> yeah precisely yeah nice nice um okay i think i gotta go uh even bigger with this next one someone else who played in a great game brand steel and someone else that ryan really wanted to win the game and that is taylor lee stalker that's right taylor's yeah. coming back <laughs> I, I had nothing against Taylor. Just, I always guessed him. I, I always guessed him, and he refused to uh, honor my guess. And it was nothing personal. And I feel it was just like, all right, you, Taylor, Taylor. And then I kept being wrong. And sometimes if I'm wrong so many times, I keep choosing the same choice until it's right. Yeah. I mean, in a way, you kind of helped him get very far. And honestly, like he won so many of those challenges, like he just had to come back. I just, I just had to choose him. <laughs> and he got, cause he got voted out first, like not including the uh, like special thing at the very beginning, but he gets voted yeah. out episode one and makes it all the way. Figgy switches out in the very last challenge. Then Taylor goes like right back over there, still wins another challenge before finally getting taken out. But it's like yeah. crazy how long he just survives after getting voted out in episode one. <laughs> yeah, it was the Taylor and Figgy thing in that just was fantastic. And so having them both back again for all stars is a is a really good thing, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, all, both of our opinions. Mm -hmm. All right, for my next girl, I am bringing Kellen. Kellen. Yes. Did a great job at the social game last time around. Did decent-ish in um, Amazon, but she really shined in uh, Last Chance, coming in second place. Uh, legit, when they were reading off the votes and everything, I thought she was about to win until, you know, like, obviously, Francesca won. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, and this will be the first time we had a contestant play three times in a row. So I think that would be an interesting. Yeah, that thing is too. true. Yeah, that's that's interesting. Yeah, so that honor goes to Callum. Nice. Um, okay. Well, I think I'm going to choose my first winner. Uh, that's coming right. back, and that is Suri Fields. Uh, yeah. Winner of Amazon. A very very strong player. <laughs> oh, yeah. yep uh and she's been in our all uh she's been in our brand fields a lot and mm -hmm. then she finally played one of the best games out there mm -hmm. and so yeah she definitely earned her spot this time mm -hmm. around in all stars yeah but before amazon she was like the crazy character who'd go out there have some funny moments and stuff and then go home yeah uh, maybe at the merge or something like that. But then finally, you know, she was like, you know what, I'm going to go out there and play this time. And, it was like, yeah. yeah, it was like winners at war. Hmm, you know, I actually want to be part of that. I'm going to, I'm going to keep alliances this yeah. time around. You know? 
Yeah, and it, it worked out for her. It was it was great. Oh yeah, oh yeah. All right. So you had a winner. I'm going to choose a winner, and that's going to be Reed from All's Fair and Love and War. Mm-hmm. Played a pretty solid game overall. Um, and yeah, uh, that's one of the big reasons. Um, I would say all um, Love and War was probably my favorite out of uh, season four of our branch deals. And he's the only winner that I have this time around. So mm-hmm. also another reason to bring him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to be very interested to see if, if, if a winner wins. Uh, that means we have to have another season. Season four gets a bonus yeah. season. <sighs> Last, last chance. Yeah. Last, last, last chance. <laughs> uh, who, who knows what that will be? We'll, we'll figure it out if it happens. There's only three. There's only going to be three chances. Yeah. Uh, out, out of 20. Um, okay. Uh, so my next, you know, let's just keep the winner train going. Um, I'm bringing right. back the winner of All-Stars 3, Braun Strowman. All right. Solid, solid. Yeah. Uh, He's a big guy who uh, likes yeah, to who, who, who wins challenges. Uh, he's been very strategic as well. Um. Yeah, it should be uh, interesting to see mm-hmm. how he does now as with the winner target on his back. Yep. Now, in Brand Steel, those don't always mean like a death sentence. But, uh, I mean, just look at Parvati or Kelly. Well, I mean, yeah. Kelly didn't win until later, but he always makes it decently far, except the few times where she went pre-merge. I've noticed but, when, she, when she's on a season with Parvati, she does very good. But when she's not on a season with Parvati, she doesn't. <laughs> that's the key. Parvati is the key. Yeah. Parvati. Parvati. <laughs> All right. And next for my fourth girl, I am going to go with, hold on, what is, I cannot read my writing. (laughs) Oh yeah, Kim. Kim, good. At first, it looked like Kira for a second, and I'm like, we didn't have a Death Note season, and plus that's not, Uh, anywho. Um. So, yeah, Kim in Battle of Amazon, she had a rough go being targeted, like, from Tribal 1, yeah. tallying up so many votes in the 20s. Yeah, I feel like that just gives her all-star status, you yeah. know, right there. Yeah, she, she literally, there's only, like, one or two tribals that she could have gone home that she didn't receive votes. Like, she was always just getting targeted over and over again. Um, I, I had her as my backup in case you didn't pick her. I was going to pick her as my fifth person for, for girls. Um, so I'm glad that you chose her. I feel she had to come. Hmm. Uh, okay. Then for my fourth girl, I'm going to bring back Victoria from Last Chance. Um, you know, uh, she, she was playing a great game. Up until she blew up her game with the with the Jamal twist in Island of Idols, like she 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 succumbed from yeah. the same things that Jamal had, uh, except she was able to survive one more tribal council after that than Jamal. Um, yeah, but she was playing such a solid game up until that point. <laughs> yeah, you know, even even saving Russell Hand, that's like yeah. a. That's a crazy move. Uh, <laughs> didn't necessarily work out for Victoria in the end, but you yeah. know, she did shake things up uh, with that, though. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm hoping that she can come back and, and really, you know, prove that uh, she, she, she is a great player because she was showing it for a very long time of that season. Yeah, I agree. All right, and so. For my final guy, I'm going to choose Joe. You're choosing me? He amazing. Okay, I was like, what amazing. the heck? Okay, good. 
Uh, I just have to leave that little suspense. Uh, you know, he did a really good job in uh, Captain Kirk being the last man standing from uh, 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 even though with all the mutinies and everything. Uh, yeah, but uh, he made it pretty dang far as a result. And mm. I feel, you know, one more season with Joe. Yeah, uh, I, Joe, I, I, I'm glad you're bringing uh, him back. Yeah, I was gonna say if you bring me back, I was gonna be upset because I I want to keep my winning streak going into Winners at War. Yeah, and then also I I try to be like just bring one winner back, Ryan, just one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, the season hasn't been the greatest for you in terms of winners. No. <laughs> no. That just kind of happens in general. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Well, I'm going to choose my last guy now, uh, and this is from Last right. Chance, and that is Rob Sesternino. Made it oh, all the way going to the with end. the double Rob. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're going to see if we're going to have an uh, uh, actual Survivor uh, All-Stars thing go on with the Robs, because they were on the same tribe, and they didn't uh, last that long. <laughs> nope. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Only one Rob. Yeah. Even though there's like ten Rob, if you count like Bob's as well. Yeah. <laughs> Same origin. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, no, he 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 played very good. Made it to the end. Uh, only receives two votes. Uh, doesn't doesn't get the win, but he still plays. If he played more on Island of the Idols, he probably would have. You know. Yeah. It would have appealed more to his case. But he was yeah. very, very trigger shy on that. Yeah, he wa- he thought that he could play just a normal game. And again, I, a lot of people were. Yeah, I mean, when you think about it, though, I guess he technically makes it to the end. It's just you know he just didn't have enough resume points to to win. <laughs> I mean, Francesca just Francesca's game was so good. Like, can we can we blame him really? Yeah. Can we? Yeah, yeah. She it was hard. Like if if you get. To the end with Francesca, you're gonna lose. <laughs> Precisely. Precisely. All right, and for my final girl, I am choosing. This will be what our third couple that's on this season, mm-hmm. and that is going to be Rachel, Rachel. in All Fair Love and War. Yeah, um, you know she did a pretty decent job in that season. Um, had a great alliance with Tyson. Uh, mm-hmm. She was playing a pretty good social game throughout that. Yeah. Like, she wasn't ever truly in danger, I felt. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, she was always kind of, like, on the right side of the vote. Yeah. And so... Uh, yeah, oh, and yeah. she does something very interesting. She basically breaks up with Tyson in the last few days to get him voted out so that she makes it to the end. <laughs> Which I don't, I don't understand that, but it's, <laughs> and, you know, it's, it's reality TV. You got to do something to make it a little bit more dramatic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Nice choice there. Um, I know, I'm going to bring someone back from uh, the captain's curse season. I feel like we haven't had too many people from that season. Uh, and yeah. so I'm going to bring back Aubrey Bracco. Uh person who made the end with me i uh, definitely felt like she deserved it. yeah she, she was one vote away from winning like <laughs> it was a four three vote at the end yep. so <laughs> it was it was close so. yeah so i i feel like she deserves and, this and also you bring her a lot and i feel like with the last one supposedly we don't know guys we, we we're finding out each other's team right now yeah um you know, you kind of have to pull out all the stops and bring legit. There's no more joking around. It's like his has to be the one. So mm-hmm. yeah, you know. yeah. And uh, you know, she was so close last time. She just gotta. She just has to get to the end now without me. And that. And there's no me on this uh, season. So there's another <laughs> Joe, but you know. Yeah, but he's gonna get voted out. We right? have he doesn't quite a me. few. People. Also, we have quite a few people from Captain Kurt. Do we? we got me, yeah, me, well, Austin, Rob, Joe, 
Joe Amazing, Aubrey. That's like four right there. Uh, was there anyone else? Nope, that's it, but like still. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of consider Boston Rob actually more all fair and love and war because I think that season just <laughs> overpowers. Yeah, that season <laughs> is much more compelling in my opinion. But yeah. 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 All right. So let us go over our team. So on my team, I have Ryan Wayne, Ken, Tyson, Reed, Joey Amazing, the actual Joey Amazing, not this Joe King, <laughs> who is also amazing. Just. <laughs> Uh, the girls on my team, Catherine Newton, of course, Laura, Kellen, Kim, and Rachel. Um, and the <clears throat> guys on my team, Boston Rob, Taylor Lee Stalker, Braun Strowman, Billy Garcia, and Rob's sister, Nino. And the girls are Figgy, Danny Boatwright, Suri Fields, Aubrey Bracco, and Victoria. Yep. It's going to be an amazing season it's going to be crazy um i'm definitely going to cry yeah on your side who are you hoping for on my side um uh i mean figgy is a a pretty big standout there um yeah i really want danny boat right to do it too because it'll be really funny (laughs) it's kind of what what i'm what i said in uh battle of the amazon with so many worthy people uh-huh. for an all-star season, I feel like it would do an injustice to everyone else if Danny won. <laughs> well, she's gonna she's gonna play a great game. She's gonna find like seven idols in the season. She's gonna play them all correctly. She's gonna win every immunity. She's gonna she's gonna destroy. I I don't know how many times you would have to soft reset for that to happen, man. I don't know. <laughs> For that specific, that specific gameplay to happen, I don't know. I'm no statistics analysis. Yeah, she's gonna I'm, keep finding I, idols, playing it, finding them right away. It's gonna keep happening. Oh god. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I guess this is gonna do it for the draft of All Stars Four. Yeah. It's going to be an epic season, like I said, and be sure to stay tuned for what may be our best all-star season yet, our most dramatic one yet. Yes, winners. Literally the best of every season culminating into one great season. Yeah, and this is like a little precursor before that. Yeah, yeah. This is is, uh, the appetizer, really. Before yep. All Stars have kind of been the main course, this almost feels now like an appetizer. Or I feel like if All Stars, or if the main course is Winners at War, this is like this is like one of the sides, not like the mm. little side of like coleslaw or whatever, but like a good this, good this side. Is, like this is like a, a hearty salad. This is like I wouldn't even. <laughs> If you like salad, maybe, or like mac and cheese, or like Mm. some really good mashed potatoes, or Mm. ooh, bacon covered cauliflowers, if you've ever tried that. Mm -hmm. Not cauliflowers, Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know. The last two All Stars have over delivered, I'd say, in expectation. they, They were very strong seasons. So let's see if we can get another one out of this. All right, yeah. Okay. All right, guys. That's it for us. Adios.